Okay, hello YouTube. Today we'll be doing a hook guide character showcase shenanigans. Yes, hook was one of the characters that is the least used character in the beta test of the game. So because no one used her, the developer decided to buff her damage by a lot. So she's actually a really fucking good character nowadays. Yeah. So hook is a destruction character that mainly focus on single target damage, but she can do some AOE damage. But it's only whenever she has her ultimate up. Yeah. Himiko is more for AoE situation, and Asta is more of like a buffer shield breaker, right? Himiko will do less damage than Hook for single target. Trust me, I have a max Himiko, and uh, it makes me cry every time my Hook out damage my Himiko, so this character really got buff like across the fucking sky. She's not gonna out damage character like Silly or Yan King because they're five star character, right? With their five star light cone, right? But she is very consistent. Hook is very, very consistent. So another reason why Hook is really good and useful and you should build Hook right now aside from her doing big PP damage is World Simulation 6. World Simulation 6 has the best ball and rope pieces for for your DPS character. This set gives you 8% crit rate and 15% ultimate and follow-up damage when you have enough crit rate, yeah? For the majority of DPS character, maybe aside from like Sampo and Kafka in the future, all of them will be using this crit set. And since this content has Cocolia and a lot of other enemy weak against fire, you'll be farming this for a long, long time, yeah? I think the uh, standard team that most people would run if they have hook is this team. Yes, this team right here. So start to break the shield, hook for damage, fire MC for shielding, and Natasha for healing, right? This is a full fire team for this content. It works pretty well. This enemy isn't weak against fire, but honestly, this enemy doesn't really matter that much. You kill the ants around it, and the enemy just dies, right? Quite comfy. Why is hook good? Our damage number is good. <laughs> <laughs> She's just one of those characters whose main usage is that her numbers are high, right? So, hook basic attack. A normal basic attack? He, she don't get burned. Her skill! Hey, remember hook. Hook deals fire damage equals to 210%. This number can go higher or lower depending on your talent level. Equal to hook's attack to an enemy. In addition, there's a 100% base chance to burn for two turns. When the enemy is inflicted with burn, they will take 50% of hook's attack as damage at the beginning of every turn. Now, this is dumb. This is why I'm concerned. So Himiko. Himiko can also burn enemies. But Himiko burn is 50%. And Himiko burn is at a static 30% of her attack. For some reason, Hook's burn gets stronger as you level it up. So the higher level your hook is, the harder the burn hits. I don't know why they gave Himeko a 5-star character a static burn, and they gave Hook a scaling burn. But sure, okay, I guess the buff is getting too far for her, okay? So you just use Hook E, you do damage, and you apply a burn on the enemy, right? And the burn gets stronger as your level is higher. What is her talent? When the enemy is inflicted with burn, she will do additional fire damage and regenerate fire energy. Energy. Essentially, it's like hitting twice, right? Why is this good? If you look at damage numbers from other character, for example, Su Shang, she hits for 183 with a 33% chance to add an 87 or a 100% chance that Emily's weakness broken. For example, Arlen, his skill does 210. Obviously, the lower his health is, the more damage percentage he gain. Up like that, right? For Seely, her damage ratio, it goes up to like 180 or something at level 8, but she has a speed buff and Seely advantage is that the extra turn mechanic and the speed buff of her taking multiple turn. For Yan King, of course, Yan King has higher crit rate, crit damage for free. Like, a lot of crit rate, crit damage for free, right? So, Yan King and Seely will out damage Hook because they got a lot of free stats. Seely even more, because Seely gets 24 free attack percentage and 24 free crit damage, yes. Hook just has high damage number, the burn, and the talent adding together, yeah? So, Hook's talent allows you to do extra damage, but it also regenerates 5 extra energy every time you hit a burning enemy right? So your basic attack generates 20 energy, your skill generates 30, getting a kill generates 10, and getting hit generates 8 energy for all character, except QQ. Hook talent, essentially, passively, from level 1, she has essentially 20% to 25% more energy regeneration, right? So she get her ult back relatively quickly, and if you know from this game, you can only get up to max 125 energy regeneration rate anyways, unless you pay for Bronya's light cone that gives you 10% more more, or you have Asta extra copy that gives her 15% more energy recharge rate, right? Energy regeneration rate makes some character really, really strong. It makes character like Bronya, Japart, 
Esther and Well be able to use their ultimate permanently, right? Hook basically on top of her high base damage number, she also had free energy regeneration rate, yeah? Now for her ultimate. What does her ultimate do? It does damage to one enemy, and then her next time you use your skill, your skill gets upgraded to this. Instead of 210, it's gonna be 245. And she also does AoE damage to two enemy alongside her. So she'll hit three enemy at a time. So that's her AoE portion. Obviously, you want to get your ult a lot so you can spam your E, right? Just more damage. What is your job? Hit your buttons and do damage. You don't even have to read hook abilities to play hook. You can hit the auto button and it will fucking work, right? The Su Shang is like, oh, so you have a 33% chance to do extra damage unless enemy shield is broken. When enemy shield is broken, you get more speed. For Sealy, you use your E to get speed buff and you kill an enemy, you get a you get a damage buff? No way. For Dan Hung, you use your E to slow enemy. When you have a buff on yourself and a slow on the enemy, your ult does more damage. Young King, you use your E to put a buff up. You use your ultimate to get more buffs on yourself. But when you get hit, your buff expires. What does Hook do? You spam E. Enemy get burned. If enemy burn, you hit harder. Just hit E it's for her traces, right? What do you focus on Hook? The talent you want to level up is your skill. Because the frontal damage increase but also the burning damage increase yeah after your skill you want to level your talent because when enemy is burning you do damage twice essentially right and this damage also scales up per level of your talent after that you focus your ultimate your ultimate is your big nuke you can ignore your basic attack because most of the time you'll be hitting your e button anyway so your basic attack doesn't matter too much for your other nodes your first node allows you to heal for five percent of your max health whenever you hit an enemy that is burning you do more damage, you regenerate energy, and you also regenerate health. Her second node gives her crowd control resistance, so she has 35% chance to resist being frozen or imprisoned. And level 80, when using her ultimate, she will advance forward by 20% on the turn order and regenerate 5 energy. So that's just a 5% discount on her ultimate, and she moves a little bit faster, right? What you want to do on Relic Set is you want the full fire set, which increases your fire damage by 10%, increase your skill damage by 12%, you'll be spamming your skill. 90% of the time. So yeah, after using your ultimate, increase fire damage for the next attack as well, which works perfectly for Hook because after you use your ultimate, you get the empowered E anyways. This set is literally very good for Hook. For the two-piece set, you want to run a crit set on Hook because it gives you 8% crit rate and 15% ultimate damage. This passive right here, this does not count as a follow-up attack. It's just another line of damage. So you won't benefit from the 15% follow-up attack damage. Yeah. So for Hook main stat, you want to go for attack percentage on the rope, fire damage on the sphere, speed on the boots, crit rate on the body piece, and for substat, you want to aim for crit rate, crit damage, and attack percentage, yeah? The reason why you want speed boots on hook is because she has 94 base speed, and enemies up at level 80 and 90, some of them have 130 speed, one of them has 158 speed, so you don't want to stack a lot of speed, but you want at least some speed so you don't get looped by the bosses, okay? Speed boots is pretty mandatory for hook, she gets a lot of free attack percentage here already, so it should be fine. Light Cone, currently I'm using Wolf Walk Time. This is the free-to-play Light Cone you can get in the Hall of Trials or in the boss drop. It gives you attack percentage and increased damage against enemies that are burning. This also increases your burn damage as well, yeah? The best 4-star for Hook, aside from that one, would be Secret Vow gives you a non-conditional 20% damage up, and if your HP is lower than the enemy, then you get 20% more. But the 20% alone is already strong enough. It goes up to 40 and 40 or so up to 80 percent you will rarely get the second effect bonus unless you're playing arlen or blade in the future but the 20 to 40 percent damage up non-conditional is already strong enough right i would still run wolf walk time though because this is free it goes up to 20 percent attack and 32 percent burn and bleed damage so it's a more efficient it's almost always up since hook has a hundred percent chance to apply burn obviously enemy can resist it but most enemies aren't resistance to burn all right so for five star you can use something irreplaceable or on the fall of Aeon. These two light cone are good as giant stat stick. So Clara light cone gives you attack. It gives you a heal when you are damaged. And at the same time, if you are hit that turn, you get a damage boost until the end of the turn, right? Unless you're fighting enemies that do a lot of AoE damage, generally your hook won't be the target, right? Like it's kind of random. It's kind of inconsistent unless you're playing Clara. All right, so for this light cone, this is the free to play Hertha store light cone. It stacks your attack up to four times. And when you break the enemy shield, you get 
get a damage bonus for two turns, right? To use Hook on specific content like Cocolia and Wolf Eye Simulation, where she breaks shield a lot of the time because the freaking uh, pillars are squishy as shit, this is pretty good. However, the attack percentage is gonna take a while to stack up. You mainly wanna use it for the damage bonus second part here, right? This is mainly a stat stake because it's free. Hook's unique light tone, the moles welcome you. When the wearer uses basic attack skill or ultimate to attack an enemy, the wearer gains one stack of mischievous. Each stack increases the wearer attack by 12 to 24%. This does doesn't mean you stack this infinitely. This means you have three stack with your basic attack, with your skill, and with your ultimate. The wording on this is really weird, but you can stack this up to three times. It's not that strong. It's okay if this is the only thing you have. This one is basically a power creep version of the Moles Welcome You. For three star, you can use this one. Increase wearer basic attack damage and skill damage by 40%. This has the lowest base stack because it is a three star light cone. I wouldn't really invest into this because you do get this one for free. But if you're just starting out in the game, you're level 20 to level 30 and stuff, this is fine. This is good. Hook Eidolon. What does her first Eidolon do? Enhanced skill deal 20% more damage. After you use your ultimate, you unlock the enhanced version of the skill one time and that enhanced version will now do 20% more damage. The second one extends the duration of burn cost by skill by one turn. So instead of a two turn burn, it's now a three turn burn. Honestly, I don't think the duration of your burn matters because you'll be spamming it anyways with a 100% chance to apply the debuff unless enemy resists it, right? Number four, when her talent is triggered, there's a 100% chance to burn adjacent enemy. Whenever Hook hits a burning enemy, she will regenerate 5 energy, she'll heal herself for 5% max HP, she'll do more damage, and this time at E4, enemy surrounding will also get burns. Even if you're fighting multiple enemy, all enemies will be burned, so you always have the damage bonus of your talent. E6, increased damage by 20% against enemy that are burning. So this is just a free 20% damage bonus, because enemies are always burning. Honestly, Hook has one of the nicer Eidolons, I feel, in this game because everything works well together, you know? I guess we can run a quick simulated world. I'm gonna do Hunt Path. Huh. Alright, let's go see how the fight with Cocolia go. So I'm gonna hit this on auto battle. That was a 21k damage and a 25k. Very good, Hook. Very far. Alright, Path of the Hunt. Heal. And Path of the Hunt again. Heal. And then Hook press E. Boom. And he's dead. Alright, next phase. Shield break. And the cleave. So now. And the laser. Yes, very far. Oh, 34k damage on Hook. 60k damage? No way. <laughs> Omega low. Boom. And cheese wheel. Oh. No, Himeko got the last hit instead of Hook. No. All right, that'll be a little quick uh, Hook auto gameplay mode, yeah? Uh, my Hook isn't really like that strong because like, she has like 55 crit rate and like 60 crit damage, right? That'll be the end for this little Hook guide showcase video. Hopefully I didn't stumble over my words too much, yeah? Till next time, chat.